What's in the action? Dude. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Timmy G's unboxing stuff. And stuff. Today we are unboxing our $100 what's in the box from don't eat the gum uh we get these been getting these every month for almost a year and uh they're never it's never a disappointment if you don't know about don't eat the gum don't eat the gum is a non-subscription based uh mystery box service run by kevin kennedy and uh what you do you pick out your box there's a uh now a ten dollar uh, pack $25 $50 and a hundred dollar like I said this is the $100 what's in the box sale when you uh, buy your box you fill it you fill out the notes section with uh, movies that you love uh, items you do don't want um, if you have special requests send him a message on Facebook he's real nice real accommodating uh, puts together these boxes uh, very personalized and catered to you. There's even a handwritten thank you note in every box. A really nice touch, full of uh, retro cards and candy and stuff, as well as uh, high quality toys. What, uh, you know, if you don't want a certain type of item, you can message him and, uh, you know, request that that be left out if there's certain things that you want you can request that those be put in um, last box was amazing and I know that that was you know just something special he wanted to do for me for uh, you know buying all these boxes month after month and for doing these videos to show you guys uh, but I got that signed first edition of the keep and uh, you know about put me in tears uh, I was so grateful for that, and uh, it's just truly awesome. But at any rate, uh, I'm still battling this pneumonia today, but uh, luckily I'm pumped full of steroids. I couldn't wait to get into this box as well as the others. Um, but before we get started, uh, there's one more thing. I know I just shot a little video about it, and uh, I want to mention it in this too, is... Uh, one, I want to thank you guys. Uh, we've reached, surpassed 300 subscribers, uh, and that is awesome. Uh, again, I never thought we'd get here. And uh, the other thing is, um, I'm looking for some of you guys to uh, contribute uh, for the and stuff bit uh, that we do on each video. Um, I just thought it, it'd be fun to bring some of you guys in on it, get you involved with it. All you have to do is record a little short video saying and stuff. Uh, you could do it on Snapchat. Uh, you could, or with Snapchat, you could do it plain, uh, whatever video app you want to use, uh, make it fun, uh, whatever, you know, uh, and then send it to me on Facebook. That's uh, facebook.com backslash Timmy G stuff. And, uh, make sure that I'm able to download it and uh, then I'll download it, uh, you know, and hopefully, you know, use it in a future video. Uh, so with that out of the way, uh, let's not waste any time. Let's chew it up. Timmy G's unboxing stuff and stuff. He's unboxing stuff and stuff. Please send me some stuff. Make sure we get a good cut on the box we're gonna get our oh my god I already see something <laughs> gonna get this uh, packet paper out of the way reach in and this is the first thing I see and it is cable awesome so uh, a few months ago, Kevin had, uh, you know, asked me to, you know, let him know some more stuff, uh, you know, just an updated list. And one of the things I put on there was that 
I'm a huge Cable fan. Uh, I loved the uh, all the comic books. Executioner Song was my favorite miniseries in the entire history of X-Men comics. I know my brother and a lot of people would say, well, Phoenix Saga, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, Executioner Song was my thing, you know. Uh, so here we go. Uh, when Deadpool, when I found out Cable was definitely going to be in Cable 2, uh, or excuse me, Cable was going to be in Deadpool 2, I was floored. And uh, I didn't get the chance to see it at the theater, but I bought it on digital as soon as it came out. And uh, this is awesome. We got, uh, oh my God, he's got the big guns, the stand. I might not be able to leave this in the box because it is cable. <laughs> so we'll see about that. But that is great. And so the next thing, it looks like we've got a couple of these figures. And these are, oh man, these are so cool. I saw these on, uh, I think it was Nightmare Toys. I saw them for the first time. And uh, they're like old He-Man toys, but horror movie people. And uh, so this one is, I think this is the Freddy Krueger one. Yeah, so we got Freddy Krueger. Masters of the Universe, or uh, you know, whatever you want to call them. These are apparently made by Funko. I did not know that until just now, but that is cool. There we got Fred Krueger. And the other one, of course, we got Jason Voorhees. Absolutely. You gotta know that I love Freddy and Jason. I mean, I love all my horror movie villains, but, uh, you know, Freddy and Jason were the ones that really got me into, like, the uh, more, well, modern back in the 80s horror movies, you know. I was used to watching old, old stuff with Mom and Dad, like Village of the Damned, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Night of the Living Dead, stuff like that, and my mom tried to keep me away from it as best she could, but she couldn't, so I started watching first Jason and Freddy, then eventually Michael Myers and stuff, but, you know, these guys are pretty much the beginning uh, for me, you know, so that is great. And it looks like we have got a Koozie from The Devil's Reign. I'm not sure about that. Uh, I'm guessing that's a movie. I have not seen it, but uh, I'm not against checking it out. And I love my koozies. They, uh, I do consider koozies drinkware, so that is great. And so it looks like we've got a book of some type and wow this is a very thick Fangoria so I'm guessing this must be a special edition uh, of something so a feast of frightful flicks waiting to be rediscovered a celebration of the world's most unheralded uh, Fright Flicks. So that's cool. I'm always looking for new movies that I haven't seen. And uh, so I'm sure that this will introduce me to some. Although I have seen a lot of, uh, you know, uh, not so well known movies, you know. But uh, I'm always looking for more. And we have got a couple uh, magazine slash comics here. We've got Howard the Duck on top. We definitely love our Howard the Duck. So there's the cover. 
Here's some random pages inside. That is awesome. And we have got an issue of Gore Zone. I've not heard of this magazine before, um, but we're going to take it out of the plastic and give her a look. And so there's the cover out of the thing, and there's a, whoa, opened it up to a <laughs> little poster, it looks like. Oh, that's cool. I don't want to pull the poster out, though. Uh, it, oh my god, but it looks like a, that little piece right there tells me, I believe that that is a leprechaun poster. Oh my god, how can I leave that in? How can I leave that in there? Oh my Jesus. Friggin' love the leprechaun. Oh man. I might have to pull that out of there. I, I'm not going to do it yet, but I might have to do that because it's leprechaun. And so we've got our framed picture for the month. And this month, it is, uh, oh my God. Uh, I believe that this is Norman Reedus. I might be wrong, but uh, I believe that this is Norman Reedus acting very inappropriate on set. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that is cool, though. <laughs> and we have got a uh, couple art prints here. Let's look at the first one here. And this is another one from uh, Joel, the art of Joel Robinson, www.artpusher.net. And uh, there's his card right there if you want to pause it and get that info. Last month, I think it was Captain Spaulding on the back. And uh, this time, it is the Joker. And we have got... Ah, <laughs> killer Clowns from Outer Space, babes. Nah. <laughs> killer Clowns from Outer Space. That is great. We love Killer Clowns. I have not watched that in ages. I might have to go pull that up again. And... Uh, there was talk that there is uh, going to be finally be a sequel to this. And uh, most people don't know this, but there is sort of a Killer Clowns from Outer Space Part 2, which was, uh, I can't remember which one it was. I believe it was Ernest Scared Stupid. Uh, it was one of the Ernest movies, I believe, um, that actually took the old uh, puppets or props, whatever you want to call them, uh, from Killer Clowns and re, uh, repainted them, repurposed them for that movie. A little fun bit of movie history there. And so we're on to art print number two. This is actually two-sided. On the fr front, we have got... The Vault of Horror. On the back is uh, a little picture of Johnny Craig. I think that he was uh, kind of behind the Vault of Horror comics, maybe. I'm not sure about that, so I don't want to say too much because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And I don't want to sound stupid, so there we go. And one last thing before we get to our uh, bag of goodies and stuff. There is a little sticker for Paul Bearer Press. That's awesome. And as always, here is our bag of cards and stickers and stuff. 
And so we're going to just open it up as always and dump it on out on the table. It looks like we got a bunch of stuff in here this time. So uh, let's, I guess, start with the magnets. We got several magnets here. So for the magnets, we have got Beheaded Betsy. Another Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. And the Crypt Keeper, Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> That's awesome. I love the magnets and uh, we love Tales from the Crypt for sure. And it uh, looks like there's another sticker here. Amazon Hot Books. Everyone dies. Some die slow. <laughs> That's cool. And here's a couple more stickers. We got kind of hard to see that one. I think my eyes are going bad. But uh, that is really cool. And then we've also got critters. I always know critters. Here is a advert for Knee High Horror. Custom miniature stand-ups. I actually I'm going to have to check these out because that sounds like something that I might want to order if I got the money. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They got Terminator 2. We got Blair Bitch Project. Bangorias. Toxic Crusaders. We love Toxy. There's more Tales from the Crypt. Monster in my pocket. And a, another one of my comic book favorites. Frank Castle, the Punisher. That's awesome. And we got some buttons here. It looks like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Crypt Keeper. I think that's who that is with, or I think it's Arnold with them. And, uh, ha! We got the girl from, the girlfriend from Evil Dead. Uh, I think that was Evil Dead 2. We've got another Crypt Keeper. And Dan it. Dan it. Dan it. Dan it. Dan it. Dan it. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Now we're on to the candy. We got Pop Rocks. We got a couple of warheads. Or we got three warheads. We got two watermelon and one lemon and oh here's another warhead this one is blue raspberry well don't want to focus we got three pieces of super level double bubble bubble gum and <laughs> We got chewy lemon heads. We got Smarties. And one of my favorite candies that I would never talk about for some reason. Cowtails. That is great. I love cowtails. Finally, we are down to that personalized card I was telling you about. <laughs> On the back is a little K-Cat. 
Uh, me and Kevin are both cat people, so there is our kitty cat. And uh, the front is funny. It says, Timmy, Timmy, T, Timmy, Timmy, Ta, Timmy, Timmy, he, he, ha. Caution! <laughs> and so inside the card, there's always more cards and stickers. Before we read you the card, we're going to take a look at those. And we've got, looks like the guy from Love Boat, but it's actually Children of the Night. And uh, we have got another one from Children of the Night. And we've got one from Workout. Then Unethical Allen. Well, focus. There we go. Unethical Allen. Reese and Cephas from uh, In Living Color. And <laughs> shut up, Beavis. And E.T. with a newfound friend. <laughs> I get, I cooked dinner, and I get to do the dishes too. What a wonderful family. That's usually the way it works for moms. Sorry, moms. Uh, <laughs> and we've got Animal Man. If it'll focus. Here's one from Tales from the Crypt. This place is starting to bug me. And here's one that feels like a sticker and is uh, a couple. Ghost. And so here is the uh, thank you card itself. And there is the writing on the inside. So it says, Timmy, thank you for ordering another box. I got you some more stuff and things for your collection. The Horrible Kids Trading Card Magnet is from and signed by artist Mike uh, Pingator of Magic Marker Art. That's awesome. Uh, look for his, look up his stuff. It's beyond rad. The Killer Clowns print is signed by artist Joel Robinson. I hope you love it all, Kevin. And I absolutely do. Uh, 100% like every month. Uh, you know, I can't lie. You know, of course, the toys are always going to be my favorites, right? Except for last month. Uh, but... Uh, you know, I love the art prints and the comic books and the magazines. Uh, you know, again, an awesome, awesome box. Uh, you know, <clears throat> you can kind of see this in me right now. I'm sitting here sick as a dog with pneumonia, uh, although I do have steroids pumping through my veins, uh, prednisone and stuff, you know. But, uh, you know, this box has got me hyped up. That's why every time I get uh, backed up with boxes like this, I, and one of them is Don't Eat the Gum, I always save it for last uh, because I want, you know, I want to be ready for it. Uh, it's just awesome. Uh, if you haven't got one yourself, go get a box, you know. As you've seen here, you're not going to be disappointed. This is easily worth a hundred bucks that I spent on it. Uh, so... Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I probably won't have any more boxes, like I say, till the end of this month, beginning of next month, uh, which is really only like a week away or something. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to that. Um, we're hoping, pl planning maybe to do a uh, mega month for November as long as I can afford it. Uh, but, uh, you know, looking forward to that as always, uh, you know, that's going to be our anniversary month. And uh, once again, also, send me those videos. Uh, 
you know, help me with the and stuff video or the and stuff bit. Uh, come be in my video. What can I say? Uh, so thank you all again for tuning in. Thank you all for helping me reach 300 and beyond. And if you like this, comment, subscribe, and we'll chop it up in the next one. Timmy G's unboxing stuff and stuff. He's unboxing stuff and stuff. Please send me some stuff. Hey, Kevin, I brought my tissues for real this time. Blow my pneumonia out on the tissue. And I'm wearing my Don't Eat the Cum shirt. <laughs> don't eat the cum. I don't believe in labels. I'm like a mystery box. You just have to give me a lobotomy and then figure out what's inside. Don't look into the light, Timmy G. So there's a new thing. Uh, apparently, if you say Timmy G in the mirror three times, I appear. Uh, I tried it on my own. I went in the mirror. I was like, Timmy G, Timmy G, Timmy G. And holy crap, there I was. It wakes. Oh, do I have anything? But... Yeah, man, that's not big enough, man. I'm just a baby shark. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 baba shark. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. They say that I got personality. But it's all in my butt. Oh wait, I don't have a butt. Boys will be boys. How about boys will be responsible for their fucking actions? Hey Ma, you go down yonder by the bush and get my burr. I wanna drink it down here by the creek. <coughs> what comes after three? Is it two or four? And stuff. Uh, uh, uh. My butt hurts. From sitting on this thing. I dumped all this stuff out. Now I can't find the remote. My ass is killing me. Gross. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs>